there is a self-destructive side of yourself. There is a self-destructive side to every single one of us. You can't be here without a shadow. There is no light without shadow. There is no being without shadow. There is no day without night. The self-destructive side of yourself is just as important and intricate to your wholeness as your seemingly more positive or resourceful side. Successful people don't make the right decisions. They make all kinds of bad decisions because successful people have shadows too. The difference between successful people and others is that successful people make their decisions right. And making your decision right begins with taking full responsibility, ownership, and loving your destructive side, your shadow side. Knowing thyself is first, foremost, primary, foundational, and means way more than anything else. When you're ready to be great, greatness shows up in front of your eyes. Indulge in the pain. Feel the pain. If you've got a broken ankle, just feel the fucking pain. When you're working out, you just like, you want to die. Feel the death happening in you. Feel the pain happening in your legs as you rep out one more squat. Because it'll be all the more pleasurable when you reach the inevitable other end of the spectrum where you're laying in your hammock, sipping on a protein shake. Boy, I really went hard. I really went hard on that set. I really went hard in that relationship. I really went hard in school. I really went hard in my career. I really went hard in life. Go hard and die hard. Making the right decision isn't about fixing yourself or remedying the problem. It is about self-acceptance first. When you can fully accept your shadow and all the things in them, they no longer manipulate you from the dark side, from your ignorance, from your unconscious. When I make this decision and I get this result, what is God trying to show me? What is my inner being trying to reveal to me? What part of myself have I denied and now is manipulating me from the underworld? Your shadows, your destructive side, those things that you have shoved down in your deep, dark unconscious, oftentimes contain the greatest gifts you've been given. Love your destructive side. Accept your destructive side. Remember that it is equal in part to your light side and it will always be there. Now we live in a world that causes us, forces us, conditions us to look outside ourselves for answers. This is normal and natural based on the conditioning we've received. Meaning that where I stand is never good enough because I need reference for that to be validated. I need, like you say, relationships, friends, family, school and work. I need other people, other circumstances, other reflections to show me my worth. This is the fall of man. This is where we lose ourselves, and this is where we get knocked off of our ground, my man. It is never our job to get anyone else to believe in, trust, or accept our stance. It's never our job to be right. It is always our job to be true. If those bad memories come and you notice that an anxiety rises in your belly and chest, then the time is now to do something physically to expel it, to exercise it. When you see greatness in anyone, what you're seeing is your own self-power personified right before your eyes. I am you, you are me. Together we rise. It doesn't matter if the world is crumbling down around you. It doesn't matter what's happening. 
You gotta look outside the box. Where are the warriors that say, I'm gonna make a decision and I'm keeping it. Devotion, discipline. Devote yourself to something bigger. Be decisive about what you're gonna do. Say, I'm gonna do it and that's it. And then be disciplined about getting it done every single day whether you be like it or not. You will always be left with what you came here with, which is the passionate blueprint of your authentic self-expression found in your heart, my man. That is the journey. The journey isn't to stack your bank account or to stack toys. That's the lie. That's what we've been fed. That's what we've been told. That is a byproduct. of one of two things. Either lying to yourself and lying to the world and sacrificing your soul so that you can have those things hoping that they will bring you joy and pleasure or living authentically. And when you live authentically, those things will either be added to you because that's a part of your path or they won't. And you gotta be okay with that. Because if you're focused on the outcome rather than the journey, rather than the art, rather than the self-expression, the poetry, the authoring of your own life, being the authority of your own life, you're going to be living as a shell of yourself. It might be a shiny, flashy, expensive shell, but just a shell, my friend. If you're being yourself and being your truth, you have no desire to push anybody else off of their truth or try to bring them onto your truth with your righteousness. Every single limitation that you have is designed to make you a bit stronger, either by teaching you how to move over, around, or through a brick wall, or shedding light, becoming enlightened about your shadows. Would be a little bit big game, you gotta figure yourself out. You gotta start dealing with yourself objectively. If you know you're fearful, get very clear about what you're fearful about, why you're making choices in your life based on that fear, and then face that fear. You think yourself as a loser. You really do, that's why you can't win. Oh, I don't feel so good today. Get your lazy, sick ass up out of bed. Take those very things that you've been resisting, look at them, question them, look at them from multiple different angles, and then integrate it into your wisdom, into your being. So you made your bed, now you gotta sleep in it. Just be okay with that. Take responsibility for that. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Feel empowered by the fact that you are a creator in your life. You're a manifester of circumstances. You did something and you made something happen. Every moment comes with its yin and yang. Every moment comes with its light and dark. Every moment comes with its good and evil. The idea is to be fully present in the moment so that you can experience it all in its rawness, in its intensity, in its purpose. Each moment, its purpose is itself. We're not needing to do anything more. We need to get out of the way and let our truth shine through. Always go to virtues. Always go to character. Always go to who you're not being or who you're being. Open up to your intuition. Open up to your higher consciousness. Open up to your truth and stop letting fear-based consciousness based on past shit keep you stuck, bro. You gotta breathe. I want to feel life. That's why I'm not afraid of pain. That's why I'm not afraid to take risks. Not because I'm courageous, but because I'm crazy about life. I love the rain. I love the elements. I love the way it feels in my body, man. When I see people afraid of the rain, I say, boy, you're afraid of life.